All right, it's going to be a battle of the elephants and, of course, the falcons. I'm talking about <laughs> Cote d'Ivoire and the Civil Falcons of Nigeria. Today in Abidjan, the first leg of the third round of qualifiers, that's where it's going to be. And some of the players that have been invited for this, and as Satoshola want to continue our scoring spree and get there. And mm. also, ah, Chiamaka, ah, not Chiamaka, um, on the I'm trying to, no, no, I'm trying to remember her name. I mean, the last oh, time she, she was invited as home base, but right mm. now, uh, okay, okay, Chidima, okay, okay. Right. So right now, mm. she's going to be coming here as a foreign base. Uh, the, the players that will be prosecuting the, key, yeah. the game. Uh, let's let's yeah. move over and check the other ones who are also part of Gloria Obona, Osinacho Ali, Chidima, okay, okay, now foreign base. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ibrahim and Iroma Oyebuchi, yeah. she's also part of the defenders. Amrachi Okonko, Ungozi, uh, Okobi. Okobi, she's there. Regina Otu, Cecilia Unko is also there. Chinanza uh, Uchendu, she's also part of the squad. And Moving the forwards. to forwards at Sato Shola, Franz Kaudega, Gibbs Monday, and Rafiat Sule, and Rashidat. Uh, what's, the, what's the prediction exactly. for this one? Let's move on. Yeah, it's, it's, we're still in the Africa. It's still Nigeria, Super Falcons, and an African team. Okay. So <laughs> you could um, easily get that. But as usual, we know that um, over the years, there have been Stiff been competition, closing the gap, yeah. closing the gap mm -hmm. you know. But most times you realize on the field of play, we have a way of getting um, the o winning over. The uh, over you understand? Yeah. And I think um, it's going to be a very, very fantastic one, at least after the World Cup. This is the first time they are um, coming together. So mm -hmm. uh, I believe the synergy is already within them. Most of them are part of those that were in, um, yeah. um, at the World Cup. And a very good one for... Your, um, your ideal scoreline for the first leg away from home. Yeah, I just call line. You know, nothing less than like a three zero. <laughs> I, I tell you. Okay, yeah. Go, girls. Three nil. Do that three and nil. come to Lagos on Monday wow. and finish the business. All right. Okay, let's leave the four cons now. And talk yeah. about the Nigerian Women's Premier League, the relegation playoff battle. We have Dream Stars. They are staying in the league for another season, which is mm. a good one. And also, Ocean Babes are not the squad that also staying top because they won their various uh, games. Um, four three on penalties, identical uh, scoreline, score line. more like it. The first right. one ended one one all, one. one one. The mm -hmm. second game also. One one, one, one that's Kaduna, well. Kaduna United and Ocean Babes. It was like that. And Dream Stars also, theirs was one one. one as well. So, so yeah, fantastic. Against Invisible Angels, fantastic. Yeah. So, Ocean Babes and Dream, Dream Stars. Stars, they are staying in the league. For Kaduna United and Invisible Angels, yeah. better luck next time they'll move down to the Pro, the pro league. league. All right, okay. then from there, quickly, let's touch on the UEFA Champions League. Uh, under 23 Afcon draw. Yeah, Quickly. first. Yeah. First of all, Nigeria, Nigeria. Uh, is trying to still trying to qualify for the Olympics. Uh, they've been uh, grouped in uh, they in Group B along with Cote d'Ivoire. This Cote d'Ivoire guy is around uh, these days. Uh, uh, South Africa as well as Zambia. So that's the group right there going into the Afcon under 23, which is going to start in uh, November in Egypt. Uh, Nigeria has to finish in the top three to qualify automatically for the Olympics. Yeah, I think um, it's, a, it's a good one, you know, that um, enough competition there. Both mm. are not um, minor in, in that, you understand? Serious and one. I think um, when we look at the sweep national themes, um, I think it's only one person that has not won um, the Nations Cup I'm looking at. So I think um, it's a very, very fantastic one for Nigeria, for Cote d'Ivoire, for Zambia mm. and for South um, Africa. So I think... Um, Nigeria maybe, to come out of that group? Yeah, Nigeria to come out for that group is going to be a very fantastic one. But I won't just sit down here and say we're going to come out from that group. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not knowing that um, it has not been a very good one when it comes to this age grade um, competition because, oh, wow. you know, it's a mixture of um, of um, some certain players. So okay. I think um, I, I just hope for the best. All right, okay, then. hoping for the best. Quickly, the UEFA Champions League just go through the results. results. Confirmation of results of what happened last night. Liverpool 4 3 over Salzburg. Oh, wow. They were 3-0 up. How these guys were able to come back mm. from 3 0 down to Bridge it up to 4 3. Mo Salah was the saving away. grace for yeah. Liverpool on the night. Slava Pra and Dortmund 2 0. Uh, mm. Barcelona, it Ashraf takes the Fakini. genius of uh, Leonard Messi and Luis Suarez, Suarez for them to be able to get this one. Suarez on the double and Messi getting he's one of the assists. Yeah, season. which was so he is, he's coming to the party right now. Right. Uh, Leon and Leipzig, it was Leon winning. Zenith and Petersburg the beating Benfica 3 1. Yeah. yeah, Lille and Chelsea, we have two Nigerians, Tammy Abraham and uh, Victor Sime in action right there. And two of them were also on the score sheet before William had to win it for Chelsea. Mm. Ayas as Valencia, it was Ayas. Uh, I like this Ayas side. They're mm -hmm. not showing any signs of stopping. Last year's final, final placement, obviously no fluke at all. Quincy yeah. Promise 
uh, was on target in this game. Donny uh, Van der Beek as well, too. Yep. And, um, <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm Cecilia Amorgbe. I'm Taya Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day.